our mortals. I didn't upload anything for very long time because one, I worked on my debut book and now I'm looking for the publisher. Two, I was sick with Corona Anus. Three, I worked on the second EP by my side project Dust. Before I begin talking about the subject of this video, I'd like to introduce to you my new EP. I worked so hard on it and I'd be so appreciated if you give it a listen. Dust is my conceptual side project that takes place entirely in a post-apocalyptic setting. Not so long ago I finally made the project's second EP. The EP tells the story about a badass bounty hunter named Joseph, who was hired to go to an abandoned factory and bring back the mysterious cargo. Joseph agreed to go there without knowing that he was sent to the Anomalo Zone. During his mission he will face some really weird shit. Those assholes hired me to bring back the lost cargo. What's this baby doll doing here? I clearly remember. It was not here when I entered. It's either someone's stupid joke or... Why did no one fucking warn me that it was the animal zone? I'm sure they knew it all along. They set me up. I must get the fuck out of here. Where am I? How did I get here? Or why did I... Then he was gone. Interested? The link is in the description below. Now it's time for the music of fear. <laughs> Welcome to the Halloween special. Have you ever felt uncomfortable while listening to music? Maybe you felt creeped out or maybe even scared. I did. As I recall, one of the first moments was when I started discovering the new music genres at the age of 17. Amongst those genres, dark ambient I found very peculiar, especially when I've heard the songs Tree and Grass by Aphex Twin. Those songs had a very unsettling and fascinating atmosphere. Those two songs belong to the album Selected Ambient Works Volume 2. And I already made a video about this album. If you'd like to know more of my thoughts on it, the link is in the description below. I remember when I decided to search for Dark Ambient on YouTube. I stumbled upon the song Sacrifice by August. I liked that song, but it kind of scared the shit out of me back then. Later, I decided to listen more of August's music including their only album from 1995, Hexerei im Zweilicht der Finsternis. This album was so meditative, I felt like the main character of an H.P. Lovecraft story while listening to it. August's music is amazing and underrated. It's said that they released only one album and broke up. Also, another unusual discovery in Dark Ambient was the song Drone Vessel 2 by Nordvark. Back then, I've never heard Dark Ambient with such a heavy atmosphere. I laid in the complete darkness while listening to that song and while watching the music video. At that moment, the time felt so slow and viscous. In general, I enjoy listening to Nordvark's music because the process always feels like a black magic ritual. The next songs that I'll mention are located beyond the dark ambient genre, but those songs really made me feel uncomfortable on a visceral level. In 2018, I found the song Silent Night by the Russian darkwave artist Flash and Space. I really like Flesh and Space's music, but damn, that song is weird. Especially the ending of that song made me think like, what the fuck is going on here? The next artist whose music and image creeped me out was Sopor Aeternus and the Ensemble of Shadows. That, arti that artist doesn't scare me now, but when I discovered his music, I thought, what the hell? That guy looks as if he is from another planet. I actually like Sopa Eternus' music, 
It has its own style and philosophy, and the artist standing behind it is very unique himself. I'm not a huge fan of his music, but I find it interesting. Now, in the end of the video, I'd like to introduce to you two songs that really scared the shit out of me. The first one is the song Poisons by Zoskia. Just to let you know, Zoskia is the side project of the band Coil. I think Coil is awesome, and they obviously knew how to make creepy music. For instance, the song First Five Minutes After Death I find uncanny, even though it's my favorite Coil song. What about the song Poisons that I mentioned before? Well, it truly sounds like the music of suffering. What else can I say? <laughs> and now we reached to the bottom. Let me introduce you the final song for today, which is literally the scariest piece of music that I have ever heard. It's called Песня Гвоздя, or in English The Song of the Nail, by the Russian punk avant-garde band Tsiganyata Yas Ilyicha. This is how one of the band members, Manager, was inspired to make this song. Once he was at the village helping his relatives building the house, he was beating the huge nails into the wooden floor. He did it with so much hatred that he suddenly became one with a nail. He felt as if he, st as if he started communicating with the dead forest and the corpses of the trees. The nails, while penetrating the wood, became one with the soil without resistance. When Manager touched the nail, it felt as if it was burning and torn apart from the impossibility of changing its state. During the recording session, Manager asked another two members to sing this is song of the nail in the monotonous way while beating with a hammer against the piece of iron. Meanwhile, Manager was whispering and screaming, cold, no way, hot, painful, hot, painful, no way, hot, painful. This song was recorded from the first take. Manager got into the role of the nail so much that he started feeling as if he was beaten by the hammer. If you want to check out the song of the nail, the link is in the description below. This is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, press the like button and subscribe to help my channel grow. Have you ever heard any music that made you feel scared? Tell about it in the comments. Would be very interesting to read. Also, don't forget to press the bell of Satan to don't miss the new videos. Farewell, stay out of hell.